Hello, Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in with team number 5114, the Titanium Tigers, here at the first in Michigan State Championship. The Titanium Tigers already have three blue banners under their belt with two event wins and an impact award. Incredibly impressive machine this year. Great accurate shooter, good auton, speedy, good intake. So much more to discover here. We have Dane, Blake, and Drake here on Behind the Bumpers. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Blake, why don't you get us started with a notepad on this fantastic machine you guys built? Alrighty, so first with the notepad, we have a pre-roller that brings it into our intake. So after our pre-roller, it'll go into our transfer, and then from the transfer, it'll go to our shooter. And that's it. So we have a stopper to keep the uh, to keep the note from going out of our uh, transfer into our shooter too early, so we can spin up our shooter wheels without having to worry about the note exiting the robot before it's supposed to. So what kind of iterations did you guys go on this throughout the season? It's a very well refined model. Can you tell me a little bit more about that process? Yeah, so um, in the very start of the season, uh, we built a shooter tilt and turret. Um, we ended up like having a super good design. About four weeks in, we built it and stuff, and then we went to test it and we figured out it just didn't work at all. So in between that and Kettering, which, is a, which was our first competition, we rebuilt our whole entire shooter and tilt mechanism without a turret. And now we're here to this version, which works pretty well. So I see a Neo 550. What does this, uh, this contraption right here do? So this is the note stopper. It, it allows us to spin up those shooter wheels without having to worry about like pre-wanted exit of the note. Very cool, thanks Blake. Dane, you want to tell us a little bit more about the climber? Relatively unique climber here for you guys. Uh, how does that work for you guys and how has it been working this season? Absolutely, it's been working good for us this season. Uh, it's been letting us get high enough on the chain. We've done buddy climbs at this competition. We have a little bit of trouble with it sometimes because um, we have to be precise lining up on the chain. But we do have to give a little bit of credit to Adam Botts for this because our original climber, similar to the shooter, didn't work and it was about a week before competition and we had to scrap everything, do some quick benchmarking and turn around and produce a climber that would allow us to go to competition and be competitive. Very cool design. I'm glad that the Atom Bots were able to uh, collaborate with you in that way. Drake, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the program and the automation that goes into your machine? Yeah. So to start, we'll talk about Vision. And as soon as the game was released, we knew that, well, without the use of any reflective tape, we knew we wanted to go with a global shutter rather than a rolling shutter that the, that the limelight was at, at the time. So we have four Ardu cams that are all around the robot, and those are running Photon Vision on two orange pies in the middle of the robot. And you have a limelight here as well. Yes. What does that do? So our limelight at the front, we were fortunate enough to get a limelight 3G, and with the, the, the limelight helps us if like the camera becomes unplugged, we can use the limelight to center on the tags if something were to happen along the way. So the redundancy yeah. department of redundancy, yeah. I like mm -hmm. it. One other thing we had adopted this year was Path Planner. Um, Path Planner has allowed us to create autons on the fly at competitions to work with our alliances. And it's really improved our like reliability throughout autons compared to years past. Very cool. So Blake, I'm looking over here at your driver's station. I see like an interesting operator console for a keyback. Can you tell me a little bit about that and that pretty unique setup? Yeah, so um, last season we realized that like our driver's station was just a tiny bit too small for our likings and we couldn't fit the whole entire shuffleboard on it that we really wanted to. So now we got these two extra monitors and every single thing we could possibly want and it's been working pretty well. Very cool. Well, Titanium Tigers, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us and best of luck as, as your awesome robot competes in the Michigan State Championship as well as the World Championship. My name is James signing off with Behind the Bumpers and First Updates Now. Have a great rest of your day. 
Support Fund's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.